I'm too tired to really talk on this one. Yeah, about 80 kilometers from Osh. I'll probably uh, spend a couple days there washing clothes and speaking of washing clothes, I haven't washed my clothes. My riding clothes, I wear the same clothes every day for riding. Getting kind of raunchy, smelling like Lucifer's crotch. It should be nothing but rolling hills to Osh, I believe, and then uh, going up to Tajikistan. Then we hit the big guy, Akbatel. But that's like 4,655 meters. Second highest international highway in the world. So, son of a bitch. So this is gonna be dinner. It's actually some of the leftover lunch. Got some bread that's left. Some cheese left over, some sort of salami. Picked up this today. This was, I'm trying to do the conversion real quick. Uh, 30 cents, American. The big thing of bread. And then I picked up a beer. Uh, today's the rest day, so. I figured now this is one and a half ounces at 4.2 percent and this isn't the biggest one they had give you kind of a perspective this is I don't know if this is the biggest Nalgene bottle they make but it's the biggest one I've been able to find this is one and a half liters but uh, what did I say one and a half this is one and a half liters and 4.2 percent I saw one in there it was uh, two liters and it was like 11% alcohol. Who man. In case you're wondering, it's a plastic bottle. Actually, as far as beer goes, I'm kind of a can type of guy. But uh, I think I also failed to tell you how much this cost. A hundred some, dollar fifty. So, you know, one and a half liters of beer for a buck fifty? Damn. Uh, today coming from Osh and uh, going up this little pass. So in Kyrgyzstan, every day, every day you're gonna do some climbing. Up there, that must be, I'm gonna zoom in on it, some sort of monument for who knows. But I think that's the, the top of the pass there. Oh, not that high, 2,389 meters. Well, that's the roller coaster I get a ride on. I really don't like going above 40 kilometers an hour. It's about 24 miles an hour. Any more than that, and it becomes unsafe. Build up on water. Here comes the donkey. Looks like everybody's filling up. The big one today, oh man. Uh, look, looking at the map, there's like 12 switchbacks. Maybe more, I don't know. It's kind of hard to count with some of them. In there, there's some yurts. Just uh, like a nomadic dwelling. 
Now I can TV. And, uh, talk about some rough, some rough land to get by on. Oh man. Especially right here, you can see that there's not much grass. Up in the high stuff, there's a little bit more grass, but still. Whew. Here's the second pass for the day. 3,615 meters, they call this. Uh, oh man, I just looked at it. Here, while you look at a, uh, some snow covered mountains, I'll look it up again. Maps Me calls it Thankful Pass. I'll show you a better, better view of the whoop de woos. Okay, I'll show you the whoop de woos now. There they be. That's probably loud as I slam the screen. It's almost six o'clock. I'm going to Sari Tash. I've got another about 20 kilometers, but I have one more pass to make, and it's about 3,500 meters. I'm, I don't know if I have. I have it in me to do it, but I don't know if I have the daylight. Yeah, I celebrate with a mmm dark chocolate Snickers. Nothing better. I don't even know why I'm showing this. It was only I don't know four kilometers to this uh, to this other pass. Like two of it was downhill, so two kilometers here. So yeah. What's the altitude of this one? 3,550. They call this 40 something Let Kyrgyzstan. Huh. But it also says on Maps Me that's called uh, Stools Pass. So, yeah, I don't. I guess the only reason to show this is to pat the old ego on the back. Way to go. Oh, that wind is freaking cold, man. This is the entrance of the uh, of the town, of the village. A spooky looking graveyard. And big mountains. Today is the start of the Pamirs and holy shit. So far so good. Not a lick of traffic. I haven't seen one vehicle on the road yet. And I've been going for about, uh, six kilometers, says 13 kilometers. That's usually about an hour or so. Whoa, wash out. First little stream crossing. Now yeah, this is uh, the last hurrah to the pass. Lots of switchbacks. Oh boy. Official Tajikistan border. This pass was 4,280 meters. So far, this is this is the highest I've been so far. It doesn't look like it hit a border into another country. Looks like I entered another planet. I think anything grows here. I think it's just all rock and snow. Oh, here's the lake. I'll put a caption down below. I don't remember what the hell this place is called. But it is a cold son of a gun. We must be still pretty high up in elevation. It's kind of hard to... I've been coughing and... a little bit out of breath. Yesterday the wind was so bad that I, uh... I kind of chickened out and Got a guest house. Now it's starting to snow a little bit. Just a little bit. Not really enough to really call it snow. Just pulled over to have a biscuit. Okay, just about ready to cook up some some grub. I'm not gonna cook inside the tent. I'm only doing this uh, like this to block the wind. <clears throat> now uh, to kind of clear up some some uh, misinformation, I guess that's out there. A lot of people will say that these canister 
Uh, things won't really burn at high altitude. The reason why it won't light or keep burning is because your fuel is cold. So you want to insulate it. This is just a couple sleeves off of a shirt. And then at night, I throw it in my sleeping bag if I'm going to be cooking in the morning. And so let's get this thing roaring. And it lights. I guess I should probably say what elevation I'm at. I don't know. I know I'm above probably 3,000 meters. Uh, tomorrow I have a pass of 4,660 something meters. It's the highest. I don't know how they categorize this stuff, but according to the uh, to the internet, it's the second highest international highway pass in the world. That's just uh, there's a lot of there's a lot to the wording that just uh, kind of. Uh, so is the is it the second highway highest uh, pass in the world uh, road wise? Maybe not. Maybe it's just because it's an international highway. Maybe they throw it on there like that to get some sort of claim. It's all it's all bull crap to me. It's just all bull crap. But uh, why are you doing it? Because that's the way the road takes me. That's the route. Get off my back. Ha ha ha.